The Australian Government's summer school for teachers of mathematics was conducted at the University of New England in January 2008. 200 mathematics school teachers from across Australia came to hear high profile presenters give keynote lectures, seminars and workshops on issues related to contemporary mathematics teaching. Professor Peter Sullivan, Professor of Mathematics, Science and Technology at Monash University, provided a presentation called Leading Learning about Mathematics Teaching. Peter, I was wondering if you could just tell us what the main themes were of your presentation. Um, Russell, the main theme was to try and make the participants aware that when they go back to school they have a leadership role, mm. but that leadership role is going to be challenging. Yes. And I guess I was trying to say don't take on the leadership role by, as a telling role, but take on the leadership role as a working with teachers role. Right. and finding out ways to, to listen to teachers, to find out where they are, to talk with them, and to work out a way that we're together um, they can examine what aspects of math teaching. And the particular structure that I talked about was a, a approach that they call lesson study, mm -hmm. and it means talking about planning and teaching lessons progressively over time, including this, doing the same lesson more than once. Right. And so it gives a focus for, for other teachers that can be led by the teacher here, Mm -hmm. um, that allows them to get engaged in the sort of issues that are broad, broadly being presented during the summer school. Right. Peter, I was just wondering if you can tell us what the key issues and ideas from your presentation are that you hope the participants would go away from the school with. Um, well, I guess that the key issue is having accepted that the concept is working with teachers, then having a structured way of doing that. Um, now, in the paper, in the presentation, I only talked about one of the possible right. lesson models, but in the paper there's four lesson models, and I guess the suggestion would be that the, the participants work through with other teachers in their school or other mm -hmm. teachers more regionally, work through some of the models, discuss the elements of the model, uh, to, to work out what those elements of the model might mean for them in their right. teaching, yeah. um, and then maybe to try it out, plan a lesson in that model, mm -hmm. then say, okay, what if we... Uh, planned lesson with this focus and we had these steps in the lesson, what would happen? Then try it out. Anticipate right. what might be the challenges and what might be the opportunities. Mm -hmm. Then having done that, let's look at it again. Let's revise the lesson. How can we make it better? And it's the process of, of planning the lesson and thinking about it, plus engaging with the teachers, is, that becomes the teacher professional learning. Right. So for the uh, people who've been here at the, the summer school, there's, there's going to be to some extent an expectation that they'll go away and be leaders in terms of disseminating the information that's come from the, um, the summer school and will largely work with other teachers to help disseminate that information. So what you're helping to provide there is a, a framework and a process for them to do that? Oh, absolutely. I think that one of the, the challenges in Australian schools at the moment is um, People say, oh, well, okay, leading, okay, that's the responsibility of the principal. Mm. But the principal has all sorts yes. of other worries. Yeah. And so, in a sense, if, if it's going to be leading mathematics teaching, mm. it has to be someone other than the principal. Yes. And, and if it's going to be working with math teachers, maybe it's even someone other than the maths coordinator. Mm. So, in a sense, all teachers are leaders in their own way. Yes. And yeah. that we have to somehow uh, empower teachers to adopt, take on the role of a mm. leader in this way. Right. Um, but also, Part of the other process is accepting that the leader isn't the person who knows it all, the leader is just the person who calls the meetings. Yes. yes. And to say that this is a shared responsibility, our collective mm -hmm. professional development. Yeah. And, and that was part of the message I was hoping to mm. Yes, and I think out of some of the other presentations that are going to be delivered on the ESOP um, project and, and the findings from that, where they've looked at um, faculty within schools that have been exemplary in the, the sort of work that they've done, one of the findings that have emerged out of that is that there's a, a strong collaborative, collaborative effort amongst the staff of the faculty and in a sense what you're doing there is encouraging that collaboration again using sort of the model that you've put up. Yeah, I, look I think that it, it, having glanced at the, uh, the ASOP report just mm. today, it does seem that the successful faculties were those where the group were prepared mm. to commit themselves to the faculty goals. Yes. And, and in a sense that's a challenge for all teachers to say that you'll actually be in a, in a better faculty if you're a better faculty member. Mm. And so, yes. um, but nevertheless the challenge I guess for the people here 
as with all leaders, is to find a way to work with the situation as it is, mm. to encourage people to try to be better. Great. Peter, there will be a, on our website for the summer school, there will be resources and material that you've mentioned. You said in your presentation you sort of focused on one example or one model and, and the others would be available. Are there other resources, whether they be websites or books, that um, teachers from the summer school might look to to give them a little more guidance and information on what you've been talking about? There's a journal called the Journal of Mathematics Teacher Education mm. and in a sense it's all about this issue. Right. How 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 do, is school based teacher education done? Mm -hmm. There's there's quite little in it about pre service teacher education. Right. Yep. It's it's all about ongoing teacher learning in their schools, working mm -hmm. with partners and collaborators right. um, to to achieve some goals. And so that would be a, an ideal resource for people mm -hmm. to read. Um, there are there are handbooks and books about uh, mathematics teacher education that mm -hmm. I'd encourage people who are interested to read. Um, and and I think perhaps. You know, as much as anything, it's the people who are here hopefully will take, be, stay connected with each other, yes. will form networks with each other, mm -hmm. will join existing networks such as the professional associations, associations. and will actually take that broader community, meaning in this case professional community mm -hmm. responsibility, uh, more, more, more strongly and more yes. actively. Yes. Oh, that's great. I mean, certainly the message I think has come through clearly about the, the value of the networking and there's been a... I think a strong response from participants already um, looking at how they can continue the relationship they've built up here and uh, the, the website that we're developing will help in that as well. But uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for your presentation and thank you for talking to us today. Thanks Russell. Good.